what is going on guys welcome back to the channel and for today i wanted to bring you guys some more world boss ultimate gameplay this time using the hulk against proxima on stage 19 and in case you guys haven't noticed lately i've just been going through my roster and i'm trying to find as many characters as possible that can clear proxima at a very high stage so past 15 i'm trying to find as many characters as possible that way i can share it with you guys because i know once you get past 15 it gets really hectic and you guys really need those characters that you can use to squeeze out those wins okay and hulk is definitely going to be one of those if you have him in his ragnarok uniform for the newer players coming to the game thinking the base version of hulk is good he is not this uniform is the only way to play the hulk in this game okay no matter how well you have him built none of his other uniforms are going to compare and the base version is not going to do anything but die okay just gotta clear that up maybe able to clear the first phase but that's about it all right cool let's actually take a look at the build for hulk and then we'll go ahead and jump into some gameplay so as you guys can see 118 for attack speed 60 percent for critical rate 186 for critical damage 44 percent for ignore defense and 50 percent for reduced cooldown duration as for the urus on this man as you guys can see he's in a decent place two physical attack two critical damage for the majority of the slot the last one i actually have five all the slots amplified there so i have two physical attack two critical damage and one critical rate when it comes to a skill rotation with the hulk you can generally play him by field because he has so much healing in his kit okay there's a lot of healing and on top of that he has damage block and iframes that's only with this uniform okay base hulk is absolute crap okay you can generally go something like five four and then you can go like two three one and then go right back into five but keep in mind that hulk is very very weak against energy based characters as you can see right here his energy defense is 3000 lower than his physical defense and that is actually a noticeable number believe it or not when you go up against energy characters you're gonna find that hulk takes a lot of damage from them and proxima is an energy based character so when she gets down to i would say about times seven hp bar you want to start being very careful because that's around when she's going to start spamming the lightning attacks and those will literally kill you so don't be afraid to tag out if you feel like you need to do so do not let your ego or just wanting to tank the whole stage take over and get you killed because hulk will die okay in most cases hulk can tank a lot because he can heal damage a block iframe all that good stuff but in this stage he can't tank everything believe it okay so be careful when you're using the hulk as you can see i'm using power factory hulk and this is one of the best iso sets for him obviously it's his iso set so yeah goes without saying as you can see right here i'm rocking max hp because i like to keep my hulk as tanky as possible that's why he has i believe about 30,000, yeah 31,000 hp and i have a damage prop because i wanted to keep his dps as high as possible uniform is currently at mythic i think i only have a couple you well, actually i think i thought i only had a couple but i actually have a lot of them because they're really good uniform i have the spider-man i have iron fist that's a good uniform too i have wolverine obviously that's a good uniform and i have yondu which is a good uniform the only uniform i don't have is this one terrible uniform but this would actually give me an all attack bonus but i will never buy this uniform because it's absolute trash unless they're selling it for gold i'm not buying it so i'm losing some all attack there and that's part of the reason why my rag for him has dropped significantly because a lot of people are actually building him at one point i had this about i believe around at 900 for my hulk but as you can see i've fallen significantly even though my hulk is in a really good place when it comes to the team i highly recommend that you go with something like this if you're struggling on valor putting thor i mean groot <laughs> well truth or whatever you want to call him since he's basically thor in this uniform but putting him in this uniform is going to give you a little bit more valor which will definitely help you in this stage if you don't have enough valor to actually make it so that the boss is not doing too much damage to you so that's why i have groot in this uniform but i highly recommend that you keep groot on your team to help freaking um hulk stay alive because groot's tier 2 passive is going to give you an additional heal and you don't have to tag him in if you don't want to but like i said don't let your ego take over if you need to tag tag out and you will see me do that pretty often often i also have colson here to give him um that tier 2 passive buff to increase his dps so that's the team i'm gonna rock it's completely up to you what team you want to use but i think this is one of the best setups for him especially if you go ahead and throw in anti-venom as a striker because that way you now have three ways to consistently heal yourself freaking hoax passive four star passive right here will actually heal him as you can see and you're gonna have that heal from groot and then you'll have the heal 
from anti-venom that's a really good way to make sure that you get a lot of dps out and at the same time you just have constant healing so you're gonna notice that a lot of the teams that people are gonna use now for war boss ultimate for proxima at the very least is going to have anti-venom as a striker because he's a good uniform really good for all of the pve content and on top of that pretty much every time he attacks he's gonna leave you those symbiotes on the ground because of the fact that i'll show you guys exactly what i mean i'll just find him in my roster really quickly i believe i have him right here so because of the fact that every time he used this skill he'll actually just come in and he'll drop these symbiotes on the ground and you just walk around and pick them up and that'll actually heal you so for any of you guys who don't have that uniform that's a really good uniform for you guys to pick up because that's going to help you tremendously not only when you use the character as a solo standalone character but also when you're using him as a striker for war boss ultimate All right, guys, so for the majority of this fight right here, I'm going to stick pretty close to Proxima. And we're just going to try and pump out as much damage as possible. But once we get to the later phases, once she gets to about times 7 HP bar, I'm actually going to start being very cautious and I'll start tagging in characters when I feel like I can't dodge those lightning attacks that she does from her fifth skill because those will murder my hulk like seriously those are no joke as you can see even though i have the constant healing she's definitely still making a significant dent to my freaking hp bar when she gets those attacks off so yeah and i'm actually gonna have to try and dodge here really soon once she gets down to 11 and a half because that's when she's gonna actually start using that nasty freaking skill that literally blitzes the whole map well, it's in a straight line, so as long as you know where they're gonna go, it's pretty easy to avoid it. It's just when she catches you while you're in the middle of a skill, and I need to move right here. Woo! Okay, I should be good. Yeah. I was trying to be safe there, but it was alright. Didn't turn out too bad. As you can see, Hulk has the DPS, so you don't have to worry too, too much about DPS. Just worry about keeping him alive, especially in the later phases when she just starts spamming the crap out of that fifth skill that's where you gotta really really start watching out because sometimes it's really hard to see what's going on because of all the strikers and especially since hulk is so big sometimes you can't see what proxima is doing and that will really mess you up believe me guys so if you think you're gonna get hit by a lightning attack just tag out sacrifice one of your other characters that's basically what they're there for okay just them being on the team is just to die for you if you need them to and to buff your hulk that's it makes no sense hulk dying and them staying alive so if you're gonna fail at least fail after those other two die that's my opinion see right there i feel like i couldn't freaking dodge that so i straight tagged in groot i'd rather have groot die and it makes no sense to me why this is a lightning based attack right and even though proxima skills don't say it's lightning based we know it's lightning based because if you use storm in here tier 2 storm it will tell you that lightning immunity lightning immunity so the fact of the matter is Groot in this uniform has a complete lightning immunity but for some reason he's not getting it all right so i don't understand what's going on there i feel like it probably has to do with the fact that that's a really old uniform that was programmed long before Woo! storm's tier 2 passive so that's the only thing I can think of but to freaking die here because of that thing. Yep, the freaking lightning bolt blitzed me. But I'd rather have Groot die because I know he can revive and die again for me and have my Hulk die once and then having to redo this whole thing. Like I say, tag out as many times as you need to. DPS won't really be an issue for you if your Hulk is built decent. Just let these scrubs die for you. Let them die for you. That's what they're there for. And this scrub's about to die. <laughs> yeah, he died for me too. I thought I made it in time, but I didn't. And also when you tag out, you can also, ooh, I got really lucky that I didn't penetrate, but yeah. When you tag in Groot, you can also just drop that healing spore if you feel like you need to do that. Give your Hulk some additional healing, but for me, I didn't feel like I needed to, so yeah, that's why I didn't do that. Also, I didn't have the opportunity to stand still, and I'm about to get massacred here by that lightning, no? I got really lucky there. I got caught up in the animation, and I thought I thought it was over for me. The worst part is once you start getting hit by the first lightning bolt, you just get stun locked. So there's not a damn thing you can do to get out of it. Like you keep hitting the tag button 
and you can't tag because your character is just stunned, right? So yeah, you gotta be real careful. If you see it coming, just tag immediately so you don't get hit by it. Ha, huh, nice try, I saw you. I think she's slick. She was like standing still right there, waiting, waiting, trying to freaking snipe my freaking Hulk. But nah, not today. I got Groot out for you. All right, now I'm gonna be a little bit risky here. I'm just gonna rush her and see if we can crush that last HP bar. But sometimes she gets really nasty when she has one left and then she just spams the freaking five skill like six times in a row to just massacre you but we got her nice nice as you can see we're running out of time from all that tagging but we still managed to get it done but that's all i have to really share for this one guys like always thank you so much for watching hope this was helpful and i will see you guys in the next one peace and love man.